There's no wine. No wine Zero at wine. all. No, this is South Korean Kalbi style. Tell me about the, the sauce. The sauce Everything has... Everything that goes uh, into the sauce. It's, it's soy sauce, mm -hmm. tamari, garlic, a little bit of ginger. So this is very tender. Oh, that's good. 세계적인 셰프이자 캐나다에서 다양한 TV쇼에 출연하고 있는 마크 맥큐원. 그가 최근 캐나다에서 가장 인기 있는 레스토랑을 운영하는 한 한국인을 만나러 나섰습니다. 그리고 한국의 갈비찜을 처음으로 먹어보고 한식에 푹 빠졌다고 하는데요. 영상으로 만나보시죠. I'm meeting with Chef Antonio Park at his new restaurant and first in Toronto, Pick Six. Antonio has quickly established himself as a leader in the culinary world with successes in Montreal. Chef Mark. How are you, man? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Welcome to Toronto. Thank you very much for having you, me. You finally arrived. Yes, I finally opened this little place. A little place. A little, little, little <laughs> big place. <laughs> this place is, is amazing. Thank you very much. Wow. I know you had a very inspirational mother. I think that's it's everything from, from mother to aunts to, you know, coming from a South Korean family. You know, everybody's sitting down and making a big pot of kimchi and, you know, buying uh, not only one cabbage, but choice to buy hundreds right. of Napa cabbage to make hundreds of pots to ferment kimchi. So you had, a, you had sort of a production situation with your family. Yes, yes. We used to produce everything in my house and we used to share. We used to share with the grandmother, with the aunts, with friends. On the food side, there always has to be something that I grew up eating. Right. Growing up in Argentina, being uh, the Asian kid in South America and living all those different cultures, you know, you start picking up different things, right? So when it comes to the whole balance of what Antonio Park's favorite is, right. is the mixture of three cultures, which is Japanese, Korean, and South American. They all have strengths. The Japanese culture, which is finesse and simplicity. I love the culture of simplicity and, and raw. You know, I am a big fan of uh, representing its ingredients. Perfect, at its form. genuine, fresh yeah. product. In Japanese cuisine, you can't hide behind anything. No. <laughs> and then the Korean culture, where it's more fermentation, pickling. And slightly more humble ingredients? Very, very humble ingredients. Compared very, to Japanese. Yeah, very, very simple ingredients. A lot of the base of the Korean culture are vegetables. You have uh, all the side dishes that we call panchan. Right. When you go to the potatoes, the bean sprouts, the, the spinach. That's the fermented pickling culture that I use a lot. And then the South, South American culture where it comes to the whole cow putting it on, on, a, on, on a fire, you know, uh, making of the sausages, pupusa, guiso, you know, the, the empanadas. There is a dish at Park. It's my favorite dish at Park. We'll take a ribeye, a strip loin, or a filet mignon, flatten them down, put it on the grill, like we're doing asado, put a little squeeze of lemon. I'll cut them like I do nigiri. Right. I'll make nigiri out of it. Rice, wasabi, beef. I'll brush it with a little bit of maple syrup, soy sauce. Torch, just lightly, just very lightly. On top of it, I'll put some julienne of kimchi and finish it up with a little reduction of soy sauce. A lot of flavor. A lot of flavor, but that's the combination a lot of, of cross-culture. Korean, South American, and Japanese combined together to come up with that dish. And that's what I wanted to create at Park. And that's exactly what I did. So what year was that that you opened Park? I opened in 2012. That was your first restaurant? That was my first own restaurant with my name, I wanted to put my father's name. Two years after I opened Park, he passed away. You know, my father never agreed for me mm -hmm. being a chef. Mm -hmm. um, and then especially like, being a Japanese chef, are you crazy? Back in the days when Korea and Japan was, was right. in war, you know, his two brothers got killed and I'm doing Japanese food. He freaked out, he's like, it, I will never accept yeah, there's you some, going. There's some sensitive buttons <laughs> <Yeah>. there. <laughs> You have, you have many restaurants now. Yes, now I have over 10 businesses around me. You know, luckily they've all been very uh, successful, but I, it doesn't just come like that, right? Yeah, I had to build a team. It has nothing to do with me, it's the people that I put them in charge. You know, I, I love Montreal. Uh, Montreal is a city that gave me everything I have today. 
Immigrating to Montreal at the age of 15 was crazy. I, I think is for me, was a big cultural shock. You know, it's, like, it's not like multicultural cities in South America. Right. When you went into school, you realize the differences between you being an Asian, you being a Latino, you being black, and you being white. So it was very well separated. You know, there was a lot of bullying, there's a lot of racism. So for me to learn from all these different cultures, it was like, it's like traveling without traveling, right? I'm just a kid that absorbs and became a ball of all these cultures. My parents used to have a business called Lavanderia, mm -hmm. which is a laundromat. Lavanderia was my mother's business. Right. So the reason why I opened Park and right next to Park Lavanderia mm -hmm. is because I wanted to have mom and dad next to each other forever. That's fantastic. I connect much more myself towards the South American cuisine. And that's another reason why I opened Lavanderia, to create a restaurant of my childhood. Well, you're early 40s. You mentioned yeah. you're 42. You're married, you have children. I was, I was married. I lost my marriage on the first six months of when I opened Park. It would have it would, it never worked. So the two lifestyles were not yeah. compatible. So you're, uh, you're still single. I'm a single father of two beautiful children. My son is 11 today. Alex is 11. Uh, my daughter is uh, turning 10, Naomi. I want to spend more time with them, more and more. But uh, how do I do that? You know, when I first opened Park, I used to work 120 hours a week. Some of the dishes, which is South American, because we have empanadas, milanesa, and saladas. And then the Korean part is the tapas side, which is the finger bite, right? Is this the first restaurant where you really put the three cultures on one menu? Yes. In obvious form? Yes, yes. This is the first restaurant that I'm putting in three. And how nervous <laughs> were you doing that? I'm still nervous. <laughs> That's I'm still nervous That's and I'll honest. be nervous forever. I'll never say my menu is perfect, my food is perfect. Put the bread shoulders that it's already been sous vide there. That's, that's one a, portion? That's, that's one portion. And that's the sauce that we braise it into. So you're glazing it on top. Very good. Very good. Yeah, it's very rich sauce. It gets rich. But it's nice, it's not acidic. You don't have too much wine in it, so it, it's There's reduced. no wine. No wine Zero at wine. all. No, this is South Korean Kalbi style. Tell, tell me about the, the sauce. The sauce has... Anything that goes uh, into the sauce. It's, it's soy sauce, mm -hmm. tamari, garlic, a little bit of ginger, onion, carrots, and finish with uh, maple syrup and brown sugar. So this is very tender. Oh, that's good. I couldn't let this not happen. <laughs> <laughs> tender and flavor in it. Wow, wow. So this is a straight Korean dish. This is straight Korean dish. We modified a little bit on the recipe, but the foundation of the flavors are there. But it's really flavorful, super tender. Thank you very so much. So you'd be about an eight hour braise on restaurants. What's next for you? Being a father. Spend some more time with them. Uh, listen to them a little bit more because I owe them that. Antonio, thank you so much. Amazing conversation. Thank you, Chef. Uh, you've got an amazing backstory, and you're still a young man. You're only 42 years old, so you, you have many years of fight left in you. I wish I was 38. <laughs>